Hey guys, this is Coach Kelvin here with DTC Coaching. Just want to give you a brief overview of the Ninja Trader Strategy Builder. Working with your ATM strategies is one of the most powerful things you can do with your trading and protect your profit. As a trader, your job is to manage risk. So let's get started. Let's start off with your strategy, your custom strategy right here. We're going to start with a simple strategy with an order quantity of five contracts. This is where you select your contracts. You can use your scroll wheel to go up or down the number of contracts you want to trade. So today we're going to use six as an example. Over here, TIF stands for time and force. I leave mine on good to close. You can set it on day or good to day. I believe that's the end of the day close there. But I leave mine on good to close. Now, I do set my parameters in the area of ticks. You have a choice. You can go currency, percent, price, ticks, or pips. I use um, the area of ticks because it's easy for me to convert into points. Everyone knows that four ticks equals one point. So you hear me speaking dollar, a point, or ticks. They all are interchangeable to mean the same thing. Four ticks equals one point. Okay, case in point. So this particular strategy, the current as it sets up, it has one target and if you're going to set some params around the target it said the quantity for this target would be six contracts the same as this number here i want to set a stop loss for this to be 20 ticks or five points for this target first target here with the six contracts i want to set up take profit with a one-to-one -one risk to reward so i'm going to set that to 20 ticks or five points stop. This is a hard stop. So I said, well, you know, I have this trade going on. I have six contracts. I don't want to sell all six at 20 points. I want to scale. So to scale, I would add one more target to the order. In this case, I must divide this number up equally between the two or how many contracts would I like to sell at the first target. Some people will sell 50% of their orders at the first target so you would put this to three the half of six is three and the other half will be three and that will take care of your entire order you will have three will sell at 20 ticks or five points that's your profit target you have a stop loss of 20 ticks and that's set so for my second target i want to have a little bit more room i'm going to make this one i can change it as i choose to i'm going to make this 24 ticks that means that my stop will be separated. One will be 20 ticks, one will be 24 ticks. Five or six points, what it really would be. So my second target is I want to sell this profit, this take profit on the second target. I want to make that 40 ticks. I want to take four, I mean 10 points to that target. I can go even further. I say, well, you know, that sounds great, but I want to add another target to my trade, which I can do, long as I can divide the number of contracts I'm going to sell. So I'll add another target, a third target. So at this time, I'm going to sell three of my contracts at a profit target of 20. I'm going to take and sell two of my contracts at a profit target of 40 ticks or 10 points. And my third one will be a total of six here. I am going to have the same stop loss of 24 ticks, but I'm not going to set a profit target here because this is my runner. I'm going to let this run so that I can get maximum profit out of this trade if it market prevails and gives it to me. The unique thing about this here is this is the setup of the shell of the ATM strategy. Now I can go one step deeper because I want to now set up trail stops. So for my very first target, I'm not going to put a trail stop here because this is going to take it to target, keep my stop where it's at. But on my second target, I want to change things up to add some other parameters with a trail stop and the break even. This is where you do it under the stop strategy tab. So I'm going to just jump to the second one. I'm not going to do the first one. And I'm going to set up a custom strategy. So the first part of this this is where you do your trail stops and, and you break even. My auto break even is a profit trigger measured in ticks because that's what I determined on the first pass of this here. I want to move my break even to at 20 ticks or five points. 
I want to move it to break even. That's my entry point profit area and plus four ticks or one point. So I will move my stop from where it was placed, 20 ticks behind, to break even plus one point. So in the event something happened in the, tra in the trade, once I take my first profit target, I will get stopped out with a minimum of six points. So I took five off with the first profit target. I went to break even plus one point. I will get six points out the trade. I find that's a good strategy for me. But let's go even further, being that we can do what we call an auto trail. Your auto trail will be set up right here. You have a choice to build in one step, two steps, three steps into your auto trail. You can break it up to three different portions. Now, being that I have six contracts with this custom strategy, in the event that I was to say use this strategy and I only had one contract, then only one would be enforced in step one. So you have that variance there. Or you can have no auto trail if you want to manually move your stops independently of an automated system. I like the automation because it takes the emotions out of the trade. So let's put in our first one. Let's go step one. I want to have a stop loss on my trail that's going to start trailing. I'm going to tell you when to start trailing, what's the stop loss going to be, and how frequently it's going to update. So stop loss number one will be set at 20 ticks or five points i want to trigger to start trailing at my first profit trigger of 20 ticks now 20 ticks is where i took my first profit so at that point i'm going to break even plus one point and then i'm going to start trailing my rest of my order uh, by 20 ticks until i get stopped out or i close the trade i want to update the frequency every tick one every two ticks two or every four ticks, that's every point. So for every one point move, I want to update the ATM strategy. So therefore, it will be varying from 20 ticks or five points to 24 ticks or six points. And it will vary in every one point, it will up, move it up, move it up, move it up, and continue trailing until I close the trail out, close the, the trade out, or the market comes back and stop me out. Okay. Being that I have six contracts, I want to set up another profit target for this strategy, but the same strategy here is going to be set up with a different step, okay? Meaning that we have different parameters. So for this one here, step two, meaning that once I start running, I have steps within the system, it's going to say, I want this here stop. Now the trade is running, we're moving took the profit target, now I want to go step two. Step two would be, I want the st trail stop to be, now I'm going to let this run a little further. I'm going to say the trail stop is going to be increased to 30 on step two. I'm going to have a profit trigger on the set. Once we move 10 more points into the trade, I'm not 10 more points, but 10 more ticks into the trade, let's say 30 ticks, okay? 30 ticks would be 7.5 points away. I want to start trailing now at 30 ticks to give it a little bit more room because the bigger the move, sometimes the pullback gets to be stronger. I'm already in profit. I have no loss here. So I'm going to give it a little bit wider berth. Okay, that's be that one there. And I'm going to have that update every one tick instead of every four ticks because now i gave it a while of birth i just want to stay as close to the the uh the prop the price as possible without violating the 30 tick rule and therefore leave myself some leeway to stay into the trick into the trade okay once i do this here i'm going to stop here i can do a third step in the, in the strategy if i choose to so I'm leaving with the two for the simplicity purposes. Then I must save this with a template and give it a name. I will call it um, ATM strategy, 20 tick um, stop loss, uh, auto trail at 20 ticks, update every point. However elaborate you want to put your names on, you can do it pretty simple. Mine just goes like this here. Um, stop 20 ticks, profit break even 20 ticks plus one, auto trail 20 ticks, trail by 20 ticks, something like that. 
Once I do so, I say, okay, and I save that template, it comes up with a name. It just say custom because I didn't give it a name, but you would give it a name and that name would be there. That template that I just created is tied to target two. Target one has none. But if I want to add another one here, I just go here and I go right here and I'll add the custom temp template. I'll just use one I already have made up. I'll use this as, uh, let's say 1428. Now this third target has a trailing with this here, 14 ticks, 28, 14 ticks, to trigger 14 ticks and to trail by 28 ticks for the duration of this runner. And that's what I set up. Once I get this like I like it, then I will stop. Save this template by name, and this is the shell around the trail stop. So the trail is built inside of this, this shell here. I'll give it a name, say my, first I will say ATM strategy, six for six contracts. I would say stop, 20 ticks. I would say PT, profit target, 20 ticks. And I would say auto trail, at 20 ticks even though the first one does not have it there the reason it doesn't because i don't want to start trailing right as i get in the trade until i take my first profit then i will start my trail hopefully this help you guys out and then if you have any questions hit me up elliot kelvin dtc coaching check it out